Hey everybody, so I want to share something with you. Um, I was searching for something on YouTube and I saw a clip of a movie uh, with Vanessa Williams and this Cuban guy. Um, I clicked it because I remember seeing this movie a long time ago and I remember I loved it and it made me feel good, but I could not remember the name of the movie and it wasn't on the description in YouTube. Um, so as I'm watching the movie, I hear the Holy Spirit say, dance with me. I was like, dance with me. Then it dawned on me, that's the name of the movie. The light bulb went off and he then I heard dance with me, right? And I was like, oh my God. Um, so listen, dance is about release and releasing control. Um, it's about following a leader in partnership because only one can lead. The other one has to follow. If you overthink in partnership, in dancing, it can ruin the whole dance, right? So dance is about timing and being uh, and listening, being obedient to what you hear. Um, you can't start dancing off beat. You gotta wait, you gotta listen, then you move. But you can't just move, right? You gotta get into the formation of the rhythm and flow. Um, if you've ever been a part of a line dance um, or even seen one, there's a leader that starts it off. You watch what they do it, you listen, you get the instructions, and then you follow the leader and you learn the dance, right? So once you have the instructions and you've learned the ways, you start feeling good, right? You start feeling confident. You throw a little swag in there. <laughs> Why? Because you follow the directions, you have the instructions, and you learn the rules, you studied the formation, and now you're in the flow. So confidence breeds a self-assurance um, and it also breeds an awareness. Thank you. Um, it's a different kind of confidence when you know what you're doing and in, in the dance, right? It's like, I know who I am and I got this because the leader showed me how to do it. I hope you're getting this. I hope you're really listening. Um, now the movie Dance With Me um, is about a uh, Cuban guy who comes to Texas, who's looking for his father, and he brings a whole new spirit to the people in like this rundown dance studio. Did you just hear what I said? It brings a new spirit and a freshness to what was dead. Your dance does. I hope you really hear this. Um, so listen, some of you have been without a father okay you've been without a father for so long you don't even know what it what it means or even how to miss what you've never had so there is a longing within you that you try to feel but God said I'll be your father um, in 2nd Corinthians 6 18 um, it says and I will be a father to you and you will be the sons and daughters to me, says the Lord. So listen, a father loves, protects, comforts, leads, guides. Um, those are all characteristics of a father. Now remember, let's go back to the movie. I wasn't searching for the movie. The movie found me. It came to me, right? You don't have to search for anything missing in your life. Once you partner with God, he will fill every void in your life, even the ones you didn't even know you need. And guess what? You will bring new life to people who are worn down with life because your light and energy will be contagious. So listen, sometimes watching people dance makes you want to get, get up and dance, even if you think you can't dance. Um, or if you just want to dance, it's something just gets a hold of you and you want to be a part of the dance. So what's beautiful 
about it is everybody has their own interpretation of expressing themselves, um, but they're hearing, excuse me, the same thing, yet they're still in the same flow and rhythm and formation. We're not supposed to be alike. We're not supposed to hear God alike. We're not supposed to praise alike. We're not supposed to do things alike because God made us all uniquely different. And how we express praise, gratitude, our relationship will be different than any kind of program religion that you see. It's program, okay? Listen, somebody sent me a video of these distinguished uh, men dancing. The leader started it, and then one by one, they all got behind him, got information, and followed him. But each one of these guys had a different swag and a fire to the dance. I mean, it was lit, y'all. Um, but yet, it was still the same dance. They were dancing the same. They just had a different interpretation to it. I hope y'all really are hearing what I'm saying. So this is my last point. Baltimore, I'm from Baltimore, and Baltimore is known for house music, right? So back in the day, there was a song called Follow Me. Listen, y'all, the minute we heard doom, the bass go doom, 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 doom. Everybody gets up, right? And they get in line, they get in formation. Um, so God dropped this in my remembrance and I played the song. Back in the day, you know, we just moved to the beat, but we really weren't listening to the words, to the lyrics, right? So let me just share some of them with you. You'll understand what I'm saying. They say, uh, follow me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to see the day when my people can all relate. We must stop fighting, fighting God, right? To achieve peace that was taught in our country, we shall all be free. And then the chorus is, follow me. Why don't you follow me to a place? Where we'll all be free. You gotta do <laughs> you gotta do that heavy vibrato in there, right? So this is basically talking about surrender. Um, we gotta stop fighting God and fighting for control of the dance. But you gotta understand also that control was taught to us. It was taught to us from our ancestors for survival. Um, so that's a hard habit to break, but it can be broken. So John 8, 31 um, through 38 says, and I'm going to read that. Jesus said to those who believe him, if you abide in my word, um, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. God is saying, come to the end of yourself and follow me. This is discipleship. He wants us to trust him, believe him, spread the word about him, and give people an opportunity um, where they will come, come to him on their own. And listen, you'll be able to speak from your own experience and not what you heard, but what you know, okay? So one more scripture uh, is John 12, 26. And that says, whoever serves me, must follow me and where I am my servant will be also my father will honor the one who uh, who serves me um Gal Galatians 2 20 which is my favorite scripture one of my favorite scriptures says that I have been crucified with Christ it's no more I that live but Christ that lives in me the life I live in the body I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me, <clears throat> right? So this means every time you relinquish the control, you surrender to God. Not figuring things out for your own understanding, not worrying about yourself um, into a whole anxiety fit and fear, because that opens the door to fear. 
but really coming to the end of yourself and giving everything to him. That's crucifying yourself. It's denying yourself and it's killing the old you to rise into a new you, right? So this means you're changing from the inside out, okay? So just keep doing that. If you're doing it, keep doing it. If you are not doing it, do it. What are you waiting for, right? So listen, I hope this video has helped you. Um, play it back if you need to so that you can get all of the scripture points and all of uh, the pertinent points that you need to hear that will help you um, be a dance partner with God. So it's time to dance. Dance with me. Follow me. Okay? Have a great day on purpose. Bye.